Well, goodness gracious, do we need to have an opinion about everything? Cracker Barrel's new plant-based breakfast sausage has sparked outrage online, apparently, from some of its customers. The chain posted on Facebook about its new Impossible Foods sausage, with some customers welcoming the new meat alternative. Others are pushing back at the company now for the new addition. Brooke Schaefer joining me live. Brooke, please explain this to me. Why are customers so upset? Yeah, it seems like nothing is safe anymore, Natasha. Some people are upset because, well, they just don't like the plant-based option. Other people say it's not part of Cracker Barrel's brand. So we went inside to do our own research to try it out ourselves. We also talked to some people outside of the Cracker Barrel about what they thought about the so-called controversy and why it seems even the smallest things turn into a debate nowadays. A new addition to Cracker Barrel's menu, sparking an online debate. The restaurant announced on social media this week it was adding impossible plant-based sausage to its all-day breakfast menu. To the cries of some on Facebook, like these, won't be eating here anymore, and I used to love your store, now no way. It just had it on the menu in there. We chatted with Jordan Bergs outside of Cracker Barrel in Pembroke Pines, Florida. Does it feel like everything has kind of become like an online argument nowadays. Yeah, it just kind of feels like everybody wants to to just be up in arms about something a little bit or just kind of make make their opinion heard. The controversy, if you will, forced another post to social media by Cracker Barrel. This picture with the caption, where pork-based and plant-based sausage lovers can breakfast all day in harmony. <laughs> So we tried it out ourselves Here goes nothing. to see what all the back and forth is really about. It's not bad. The majority of customers, it seems, deciding they can agree to disagree on their breakfast meats. Do whatever you want. Uh, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, then do what you want. There you go. You heard it right there. If you're not hurting any then just do what you want, right? But Beyond Meat's sales are actually going down. Analysts have slashed forecast for Beyond Meat, partially because of decreased demand. Natasha? <sighs> Brooke Schaefer, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you for trying it. And yeah, no one's forcing anyone to eat it. We all just need to simmer down a little bit, I think. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.